this video here will be showing how we want to get those external oblique muscles to kick on for those rib flare postures. So I actually have a little bit of a rib flare here, so let me just show you what that looks like. So as you kind of can see just from the, the light coming down, I can really see my rib cage coming out to the sides. So here, we want to use those external obliques to kick on those muscles to pull that rib cage back down and in so that we get out of these kind of forward postures here. So with that, I'm just gonna be sitting here, focusing on first, getting that lower TA to engage. So as I'm sitting here, I'm focusing on my inhale in, then exhale, thinking of those hip bones coming together low. As I continue my exhale, I can then start to think, adding in a little bit of a rotation and a little bit of a bending forward to get that connection of my external obliques kicking on. So I'm inhaling in, as I exhale, lower core engagement. Exhale, 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 almost as long until you feel like you're gonna cough to get that, that upper core engaged as well. So inhaling in, exhale, hip bones in. Upper core engaged as well. I can add even a little bit of resistance here. So I'm gonna hold on to the band my one arm over here and I'm gonna be pulling across and down this way so I'm gonna think of that inhale in first exhale Ooh. inhale in exhale inhale in exhale Okay, so the Beautiful. goal with this video is to get that 360 degree breath pattern with that lower core and external, external oblique muscle kicking on. So you're gonna get a band. So with this one, I'm gonna be thinking of getting my, my rib cage here coming down and in and across towards my opposite hip. So we're gonna go over that breath pattern first. So as I inhale in, expanding into my back, belly chest, as I exhale, pulling on my lower core, and then I'm gonna be thinking of, as I continue to exhale, 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 pulling my rib cage down towards my opposite rib cage. So I'm gonna take some resistance band now to add to it. So I have this band, and it's over across my body, I'm holding onto it. My arm here is now gonna be going in and across and down towards the opposite side. So I could do this laying on my side if I wanted to, so I can inhale in, exhale, Pull, 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 rotate, 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 rotate. I'm thinking of pulling down, 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 down after I kick on that lower core. So I'm gonna do that now laying here on my back. So I'm gonna inhale in, exhale, lower core. Exhale, exhale, exhale. As I come up and rotate and pull across my body. Inhaling in, exhale. Letting that full exhale come out. Then I can do the other side. Inhaling in. And exhale. Inhale in. And exhale. To help work on that rib flare. We need a stand and engage position here to work on that exhale. Um, upper core engagement too. So I can already feel just by putting some pressure on here that my rib cage already wants to pop forward and out a little bit. So my goal is to focus on that connection of that external oblique to come down and in slightly. So I can focus on that inhale in, exhale, reaching kind of down and under and across. I'll show you the other way. So I'm inhaling in, exhale, lower core. reaching, 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 reaching across my body. I can even kind of have this um, band. I'm holding onto a band here. So I have my hand here, inhale in. As I exhale. Reach as I cross and turn. Inhale in, exhale. 
reaching across and I'm reaching down towards my opposite knee. Ooh, I really feel that engaged. So you're basically going from top down and across and in. It is okay to twist, it is okay to turn. We're focusing on getting that lower core engaged first. I'm really not trying to just totally let myself come back into this sort of a thing, right? Because I don't live my life back and through here. I do want to find that middle core engagement. And you can see I'm coming down and in slightly, but I'm not letting my whole body just round to get there, okay? Okay, so we're doing a half kneeling cross body chop to get the external oblique muscles to kick on. So um, whatever leg is on closest to the um, resistance is gonna be the leg that's up. The other leg, I want you to think of kicking that glute muscle on. So I am not totally lunging really far forward necessarily. I'm thinking of kicking on that glute muscle. I'm probably gonna feel a little bit of a hip flexor stretch as I'm doing this one too, and that's okay. So from here, I have the band in my hand here. I am thinking of not letting my hip hike either, right? So I wanna keep those hips level. Those are all key to do before I even start doing this cross body movement. So the idea is that I'm getting this connection of my rib cage here down and across towards my opposite hip. My body is allowed to rotate with this. And in fact, I want it to rotate. I'm thinking of connecting this area. I'm already feeling that muscle activation without even using any resistance. So we will feel this just by going slowly into that movement. So I'm gonna add a little bit of resistance here. So from here, I'm gonna take that nice inhale in. Exhale. Pulling down and across. Keeping those hips level. Inhaling in. Exhaling. Down and across. Full, long exhale. Inhale in. Exhale, I'm starting my exhale first. Down and across. Inhale in, exhale. Down and across. Feeling that connection of that upper core going towards and across my, my abdomen here.